Okay, Ducks assistant coach Mario Lachica is joining us today to talk about the the workouts and things from day five, uh, Ducks training camp. Uh, we kind of went over it a little bit. Uh, it sounds like you uh, you had some a team activity. You were playing some softball and normal workouts this morning. How did things go all all together? It went well. We started with a morning workout, and then the boys went off and did yoga, stretched out those arms, those legs, all the limbs. And then we came back, we had a draft for the softball teams. Oh, neat. A very competitive game. It was a 14-13 final. Oh, wow. Nine innings. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're getting the voices, competitive juices going, and ice is coming along nicely. Every, every player is going to rotate in, and they're going to take turns putting in the ice. So that's where we're at right now with you. Are the boys uh, holding up with all the, the sort of workouts and stuff? Are they being pushed to their limits, I suppose? Yes. Uh, they learned some new exercises today. They didn't know what windshield wipers were. It's an ab workout where your legs go like this, like a oh, windshield okay. wiper, and you're flat on the ground. They had to do over 100 of those today, so they, they're hurting in their core. But uh, thankfully, yoga stretches them out, keeps them loose, so that way we're not pulling anything. The nice thing about uh, things like you know playing softball or you had some games the other day is it, it just builds the uh, the chemistry and stuff like that on the team while also building the competitiveness I'm sure. Uh, but you know a lot of the players I've talked to have said that they think that the team is really tight as far as uh, chemistry and things like that compared to other seasons. Uh, have you got that feeling as well just from what you've seen? Yeah I definitely do. They're, the boys were talking a lot on the field out there they're telling where to you know, when the pitch comes in, second, throw to second, get the guy at first. There's a lot of communication out there. The guys already know their nicknames. They kept it to two syllables or less because anything more than that, you know, on the ice, the puck's gone by that third second. Oh, right, okay. So they're getting their names down, they're getting their call outs, and they're communicating really well. It was, a, like I said, a very competitive game of softball <laughs> for just an exhibition. That's good. That's what you want to see, I suppose. Uh, and then as far as the uh, ice goes, you know, the, the players have been working, the, the compressors were flipped on yesterday and you can't help but notice when you walk in here today, it does feel a little bit cooler. Uh, it just has to feel good to see uh, things sort of moving towards getting on the ice. And uh, again, that's a, that's a team bonding type opportunity uh, as everybody's uh, participating to get it done. Yeah, it's kind of like putting everybody on the same ship, you know, put them all in the same boat. They all got to go through the same struggles they got to work as hard just to get past those obstacles and it really like you said it makes them work together and bond it really brings the morale to a level where we feel that we can succeed if we put it on the ice as well all right well coach Chica sounds like things are going pretty well so far we'll check in again tomorrow and uh, good luck the rest of the way thank you very much have a good one